Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Reset here, and today doing another tutorial. This one's gonna be on how to motion track 3D text. So, there's three programs you're gonna need you're gonna need Buju, Sony Vegas, and Cinema 4D. I'll leave links in the description to where you can get those. And let's go ahead and get started with this. So, you just want to get your cinematic and drag it in here. Just delete the audio if there is any. And this is just a simple cinematic that I had or whatever, or that I did the other day. And like I was too on raid. And first things first is you just want to come up here, File, Properties, change this to whatever it is to 30. I just want to go back into it, make sure it's good. Okay, it's all good. I just want to go over here and right click on it on your uh, cinematic, click properties, then go to uncheck that and disable or sample. And in some, on some uh, HTTP VRs, you got this black line. So, what you want to do is just come over here and go to your event panning crop, just crop it in a little bit like that. And there you go, no more black line. So, just go ahead and render it out. And uh, you're gonna want to, you're gonna want to render this out as a PNG image sequence. So I'll just come up here, and you know, I already have a preset made for it, so that's why. Yours, you'll have to find it. I forget how to do it, but yeah, just find it. Come up here to RAID, and just save it there, and render it out. And it shouldn't take too long. So I don't know. Um Yeah, I'm gonna pause the video and I'll be back in just a minute. Alright guys, so that's finished and now you got all these uh images. So now you just wanna go over here and go into Bougie. Yeah, I think it's like I'm not really sure how you pronounce it. But I'm gonna wait on that to load. If you guys haven't already seen it, go check out my last tutorial. I guess I'll leave a link in the description to that. So, yeah. Alright, so now in Bougie, you just wanna click Import Sequence and find your folder with all your uh, images. So, mine is right here. So, you just wanna click the first one click open and um, now you just want to click this change it to 30 because that's what our frame rate was that frame rate was so you just want to change it to 30 click apply and click no on that close and now uh, you know here's just our cinematic so now you just want to click track features click all frames and start now it shouldn't take too long so, actually, you know what? Just because I'm trying to save time here, I'm just going to go ahead and pause the video. So, I'll be back when it's. Alright, you guys, so we're back here and it's finished. And now you can see we got about a lot of these like red dots and yellow lines. And now you just want to come over here to camera solve all frames. And you want to make sure optimize camera pass smoothness is checked. And then just click start. Just don't take long at all, so just wait on that to get finished. <laughs> Alright, so that's finished now. You can see we just got about like a lot of blue dots and yellow dots and everything. So you just want to come to like the middle of your cinematic, <clears throat> click scene geometry. Click add coordinate from hint, and this is going to be the origin. So just like click the middle somewhere, so about right there. Click connect to selected, and now you just want to come over here. Click add coordinate from hint again. Change this to the x axis. So let's just do here. So just click your point. This is the x axis is going to be like going this way. So just click the dot here, or click one wherever you want. So there. And then I'm just going to press control and we'll do like I'm going to like right here I guess 
and then just click connect to selected and add another coordinate from it change this to the Z axis that's going to be like this so let's just go ahead and press here and we'll do like here All right. and by the way you just click the first one and press control or command to click the other one and just connect to uh, connect to selected <coughs> and <the cor> <coughs> Update coordinate from hand. Click that a couple times. <coughs> God dang. <coughs> God dang. All right. So now we can just add a test object. And make sure it's like right there where we want it. And it looks like it is. So let's just delete that. <coughs> Go ahead and export camera saw. Let's change this to Cinema 4D. Click browse. And you just want to find where your folder is. I'm going to change this to motion track. Tut. Just click save. And now the scale scene job, uh, the scale scene by, you just want to change that to 100. And now you know, just got that. So let's just go ahead and click save. Click save. Stained. Okay. So now I just want to come back up here. Go to RAID and just open this. So while that's opening or loading or whatever, and just go ahead and if you haven't already, click the like button below and comment, rate, and subscribe. You know, you know. Um, <coughs> God dang, my throat smells up. <coughs> Actually, you know what? I'm pausing it here real quick and get something to drink from my throat. Alright, guys, I'm back. Went and got some gator. Hopefully, that'll help. And now, you'll, whenever you open it, it should show up this thing right here. And it should say scale 10. Just gonna click OK. And now we have a bunch of these like dots and everything. And, uh, first thing you want to do is come up here, click background. Background. Double click this here and then double click that again. Go to texture, load image, and now you just want to go to your um, cinematic or whatever, wherever you saved all these PNG files, and just click the first one. Click open. And you just want to click this here in the picture. Click animation and calculate. And it should just calculate all the frames. I'm going to drag it onto the background. So now we have this here. And uh, now what you want to do is come up here to MoGraph, MoText, and wait for that to load up. Okay, there we go. And as you can see so far, it's like already right there. It's all motion track so far. And yeah. So now I'm just going to change this to. Reset or not, let's just use double motion track. Okay, so there's that. Now I'm just going to change the font real quick. Change it to actually my favorite font way up here. Well, where is it at? Here it is. Alright, so I'm just going to drag that over some. Not right there, and you want to change or no? You know what? I think I'm just gonna go ahead and yeah, I'm just gonna do this. Control C V. You can leave it how you want and just change the depth of it. But what I like to do is just create four different ones and just space them out like by 30. It'll show up like 30. I'm just gonna space them out like that.
you guys you can just create your own or go look up a material pack for some 40 or something but yeah or you know what actually light alright now I'm just gonna click here and open change the reflection to like 50 so it gives it like a chrome type feel or whatever and I'm just gonna drag these all on but it's going to look better when you put a light on it so now you just want to go ahead and I'm going to click floor so I'll find a floor and just leave it like wherever it shows up in order just going to drag it back so and over and there's a dolly right there alright and now you just want to drag this or just come up here to where your background is click the uh, material press control and just drag it up and now it's all frontal okay so now it's if you press control or you can preview it or whatever and it's like that but what you want to do is come up here to floor cinema 4d or right click on the floor Cinema 4D tags and come down here to compositing and then um, come over here to cell shadowing and check that and check compositing background and now if we look at it it's like that and now I'm just going to come up here and add a light so just add a layer right in the middle somewhere make sure it's in the middle uh, yeah, so yeah, if I just look at that, looks like that. So I'm actually just gonna darken this a little bit to like 75 and put the reflection a little bit. Um, let's see how it looks now. Alright, it looks okay. Okay, now I'm just gonna come back to the text real quick. Go to caps, fill it cap. And let's do about like 3.5, get 3.5. Um, 3.5, okay. So now you just get like this. And it looks pretty nice. Except I'm just going to come here and I'm going to space these down just a little bit. So like by 5. That looks good. Okay. So there, it's like that. <laughs> Alright, so it looks pretty good so far. And what do I want to do now? Um, oh, yeah. Here's some. This is optional, by the way. You don't have to do this. But I'm going to. Oh, I'm just going to here and select all these. Make sure that's selected. And let's just drag this down under like that set floor I'm just going to drag forward ok now let's go back to these select all alright so it's like that just keyframe and I'm going to go up to like about halfway so let's just do 45 I'm just going to drag it up like that so now it's coming up out of the ground and it looks really really cool so you know, let's just check this real quick and make sure it looks up ok yeah it looks like it's coming out of the ground alright so I think that's about it for this tutorial so I'm just gonna Go ahead and render it out and I'll put it in the beginning of the video. So I'll see you guys later. Peace.